Hi, nieces and nephews. Welcome back to Auntie Nose Kitchen. Yes, welcome back. And yes, I have my heart of hearts on my heart today. So with he's giving me strength and my good Lord is giving me strength to um, bring to you my recipe this morning. Yes, it's, it's almost nine o'clock, so it's really not that early. I mean, I've been up since 530. Okay, so let's get started. Today, I am going to make my sausage, potatoes, um, potatoes, onions, peppers, blah, 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 blah recipe okay so it's going to be um my smoked sausage um recipe but i'm using turkey sausage okay love bugs nieces and nephews so i'm going to show you everything you need so you can make this at home for your family and friends and you know what auntie I always say or keep it to yourself all right or keep it to yourself so i'm going to do a flip and a swip and we're going to get started so i can show you everything that's going into this wonderful dish and this dish is not just for breakfast it could be for lunch dinner or when you just feel like you just want something comforting all right some comfort food to the big old belly all right yeah i'm dressed like uh just like uh my old childhood on the farm okay on that old on down in uh, old bus county you know running around in the dirt all right so give me my mom be right back Okie dokie, you're going to need, this is a medium onion, sliced, not diced, sliced up in little strips. And you notice it's only the strips, the little round pieces, I, 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 I didn't need those, so I just throw those out for a little housekeeping. And I cut up a green pepper and some strips. Now if you want to, you want to add some color, you can use some red, some green, some yellow, you know, different colors of peppers. That's totally up to you. Um, I took some, I, you know, guys, you know, I love my Yukon gold potatoes. So these are some nicely cleaned Yukon gold potatoes. And this is, uh, four Yukon gold potatoes. And this is the size, these are the size that are these. So this is four Yukon gold potatoes that fit in the size of my handy dandy palm. And I cut them in one fourth inch slices. Now, if you cut them like paper thin, your potatoes are going to come out soggy. And my little end pieces of my little smoked sausage. Those go to my little fur baby over there. He's greedy, little greedy pig. And this is my sausage. Again, this is turkey uh, sausage. I'll show you what I use. This is, I like, I like Icarus. This is the uh, turkey skinless. I use skinless. Okay, so I sliced that up into thin pieces now your pieces don't have to be perfect because you see mine are right some of them are ugly and some of them are cute i wasn't going you know it doesn't matter what they look like see what i mean i'm you don't have to be perfect patty what's most important that your family and your friends know you put like love okay so i'm going to move this out the way and you're going to need a big pan and you're going to need some um oil and some butter some butter 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 you're going to need that. But before we get started, let me show you something. My husband's cousin, baby sister, she gave me this, this new cutting board. And it says, a gift for you. Enjoy your gift. And thanks for everything, Gloria. And she didn't have to do that. Because when I do something for people, I don't look for nothing in return. And this was a surprise that showed up on my doorstep. This extra large cutting board. So now I have my entire stove covered. That's so cute. I love that. Just love, love, love. So I'm going to hold on a moment. I'm going to get my pan and we're going to get to cooking this uh, brunch, breakfast, lunch, dinner um, meal. Okay, hold on. Got my vegetable oil in here. Going to get that all heated up. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I got to go outside in my tote and get my lid. But I'm not going to turn that on right now. I need to add my butter. And I took it out of the fridge, but I don't know what I did with it. and stumbles. It's amazing I found that coffee, though. I'm drinking butter, butter toffee coffee today. I got to find my um, top. I'm going to top my butter. Be right back. Hold on, guys. Okay, I'm, I'm cooking with oil now. And butter. So I'm going to take, this is some oil. I didn't tell you how much it is. And I'm going to take two tablespoons of my butter. 
you can tell y'all, you know, me and my aunt, we keep in, uh, we keep in touch, and we like to tell each other when the stores have butter on sale. And Ingles had Land Lakes on sale. Bogo, now you know, I love Kroger butter. Oh, I love Kroger butter. I like BJ's butter, but my favorite Land Lakes, but Land Lakes ain't cheap. So when I saw that, when she told me they had that Bogo, mmm. Needed that land of lace, guys. Love that land of lace. But I also make my own butter too. So I got and I have I had I have this thing of heavy cream and I had been meaning to make my make me some um butter, but some compound butter. Cause I wanted to make some for my son. And uh so we're gonna let this I'm gonna let this uh melt down some and uh I'll be right back. So I gotta do, do some stuff. What what my um she's my friend too, but she's my mother in law's best friend. She call it busy work. Busy work keeps your mind occupied. So I'm gonna turn this down. And how am I going to how am a how am a dog gonna cook if I ain't got nothing to um maneuver? You know, what in the world am I thinking? Oh, I don't need that, I need this. Okay, so I turn my heat down because I don't need nothing splattering. Get all that goodness, that butter and that oil, you know. Okay, now I want to cook my potatoes first. Now make sure your potatoes are dry family, okay? You don't want to add wet potatoes to oil, okay? Make sure your potatoes are dry. And you see I'm just, you know, you can, you can throw them in here and splat and spread them out. But I turn my oil down so I can do this. And like I said, you need a big pan. That's that's just me. That's what that's the that's the way. Rumbles, rum, rum, rumbles, stumbles, and crumbles. Rumbles, stumbles, and crumbles. You need a big pan. I'm telling you, it, it ain't gonna work in a little bit of pan. I'm, I'm just telling y'all like this. Okay, I'm gonna turn my heat up. I'm putting it in medium heat and. What makes your potatoes cook better is when you cover them because it tastes longer when they're not covered. So I'm going to turn this, turn the heat up and leave this alone and let them be in their own little playpen and we'll be back. See, my potatoes are really nearly almost done because you want them fork tender. See, that's fork tender. Some of them had their own agenda, so I came back, you know, had to have a little board meeting with one of them, you know. Had to have a little board meeting because that one decided to uh, have his own agenda. So, took that out. So, now what you're going to do, because you see, you know, they're, they're, it's tender. So, they don't have to be all nice and brown and golden guy. But go, you know what I'm trying to say, guys. Y'all know exactly what I'm trying to say. So, now, let me take this one who had his own agenda. You're gonna add your sausages. <laughs> add those, add those sausages in there, and you're gonna stir it all around. And you know these don't take long at all. We're gonna get these potatoes, all that good and stirred around in here. Now these I'm gonna just continue to stir. Get all that goodness in there. Gonna let my get my sausages cooked a little, and I, you know, the potatoes. You know, they like to become best friends, and you know, they they start acting like Siamese twins. So you know, you get all this goodness and toss all the toss them sausages around the, with these taters. See my tater over there. Okay, we're gonna add our peppers now. That's you already had one end piece. Can't get another one. You already had breakfast. Throw so these peppers and onions. Now you don't want to cook your peppers and onions, and I'm gonna use a spoon for these. You don't want your peppers and onions, you know. You don't want to cook them till they all soggy. And I'm gonna add some salt. Add my little pink Himalayan salt. And I have my setting on finely grain, ground, ground, whatever you want to call it. You can call it what you want to. 
add me some peppercorns. Mmm, just I tell you, I'm telling you. The scent of that fresh brown pepper in your stuff. I'm telling y'all. Mmm, it smells so good. And I'm going to toss this around to get my peppers and onions a little soft. That look good, don't it, guys? Mm-hmm. Can't say smell a bit. I guess I can say smell a bit. Okay, I'm going to toss these around. And it's okay if a tater or two or three of them. You can add as many potato slices as you want because when you make this, it'll be yours. It won't be no one. It'll be your. It'll be your variety. So you may want more taters. You may want more sausages. Don't laugh at my sneeze. Don't judge me. And I'm just basically getting my pepper sauteed. And you can add thyme to this to elevate it. You can add a little rosemary, a little uh, basil, oregano. You, you know, you can add some oil spices to this. to um, And it's going to elevate it. If you want to just keep it simple, you can go with this recipe. And, you, you know, this is an entire meal. Because you got your protein. You got your veggie, you got your starch, and your fat come from your oil and your butter. But I'm telling you, definitely you need to add that butter to that oil. Don't leave that out. Do not leave that butter out of that oil. You can use olive oil too, but if you're going to use olive oil, you need to get that olive oil that says for cooking. I have that, but it's down here, and I didn't feel like bending. Yeah, I can get lazy too now, okay? Everybody got a lazy gene. Everybody has a lazy, lazy gene. So, this is that. I'm just tossing this around, get these peppers and onions sauteed down. And I have my heat. I have it on, now I have it on really low. Because, um, you know, see my potato? It's okay if your potato tear. Do not take that potato out and throw it to the side for a little housekeeping. You throw that thing back in now because that's that's food, that's goodness. Now that little thing right here, which I'm ready to eat. Mm, nom nom. Look what. It's good tater. And you can leave the you can leave your onions all you can leave your onions with some, some crispiness. But you don't really want your onions where they soggy. Because to me, that's my purpose of this. Cause my little pamper princess, Princess Caitlin, doesn't like her onions all nice and soggy. She doesn't like that. My husband didn't like it like that either. They, they you know, some things they, you know, if some burgers or hot dogs or something, they like them grilled soft. But when it's a dinner in dishes, they prefer them to to that consistency, soft, but still with a little bit of that crunch factor. So, you know, look at there. Look at this dish. And here we are, nieces and nephews. We got our peppers, sausage, potatoes, peppers, and onions. And you know what? Sometimes I do, I add um, sliced portobello mushrooms, but what I do with the mushrooms, I dice them up I diced them up and here we are here we are yep here we are um yep here's our dish sausage potatoes peppers and onions you can add a little parsley on here to make them cute. But I'm not going to do any of that because it's already cute enough. Because you would not call cute. It's when it looks good. And let's bring y'all down so y'all can see. See? Look at that. That's it. 
And like I said, this is breakfast, lunch, brunch, whatever you want to. It's just for that day when you want something wholesome. You can just put this in a bowl and go at it while you look at TV, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in and watching Auntie hanging out with me, keeping me company. In a way, you know, you still keep me company. Even though it's not a live show, you still keep me company, okay? And I thank you all for that. And again, thank you for all your love and support. It's really helping me get through this tough time in my life right now. And only time can heal me. And through that time, I have you guys. And you just don't know how much you guys are helping me get through this. And again, I get people that have been me, been with me since day one know that this channel was started to help me navigate my medical issues and to help me really get through that stuff. And so now on top of my medical, I have these the broken heart to deal with. And so, but I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna get through it. I know I am because I was so well loved and the love that I am getting through you guys, I can't do anything but make it right. So hugs and kisses to each of you. And like my sign says, good morning. This is God. I'll be handling all your problems today. I don't need any help from you. So you know, he got it. If he got it, I got it. And I know my soulmate is with me. And you guys are walking with me. So what more could I ask for? Thank you again. Go be you. Go be great being you. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and Carve TV, or Carve TV, please tell me how to pronounce that name. I want to make sure I pronounce that name right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye.